See, even in the 60s, these enemies are still a pain in the butt. In the 60s? Level 60. Oh, I was like... <laughs> even in the 60s, Dracula was a pain in the butt. I know, I'm like, are they like... You haven't done that in a while, buddy. Like discoing? All right, everybody. We're back with some more of Castlevania, Circle of the Moon. We finished the arena. We got the strongest armor. Let's finish this game. <laughs> I'm not going to get all of the cards because through all of that grinding, there were still cards that I haven't been able to get. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't care anymore. <laughs> See, we got I mean, there's mostly up at the top. Yeah. And then I'm missing one at the bottom. The one at the bottom is the unicorn card. I was supposed to get it in the arena, but apparently you got to grind for it. And I'm just like, I ain't grinding in the goddamn arena. <laughs> That's annoying. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the DSS grinding mechanic. I like experimenting with the cards and having different abilities based yeah. on. It. I like that, but I think there should be a different way to get it instead of just, hey, grind for drops. Yeah. I don't know, I think it should be like an exploration, like mm -hmm. you find them by exploring all of the map. So there's a game called Castlevania Aria of Sorrow and its sequel Dawn of Sorrow where it has a soul system where every enemy you kill has a soul. That works. Yeah. Now, again, it's a drop rate, but there's so many enemies and so many different souls and they're not required to beat the game that you have so much more experimentation and a lot more freedom. Yeah. That obviously, unless you're going for, oh, I want every single soul, I don't recommend it. You don't need to. Yeah. But you'll have like a steady arsenal if you just like kill everything in sight. I feel like that was the ultimate approach they wanted to do with the DSS. But they're just like, hmm, we didn't quite get it right. Because Aria of Sorrow is the third game that they did on the Game Boy Advance. This is okay. the first one. So this one, they're just like, all right, new hardware. We're going to see if we can make Castlevania. The second one, I don't know what the hell they were doing. I think they were just like, hey, we're going to play this one safe. I don't know. I don't want to give too much away with that one. It's, it's an anomaly. And then the third one, they're just like, we got it. Watch this shit. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. And I'm really hoping the DS games come to the Switch because those are my f personal favorites. Uh, the first one is Dawn of Sorrow, the sequel to Aria of Sorrow. But the one after that is Portrait of Ruin. Okay. And then Order of Ecclesia, both of which are really cool. Because in Portrait of Ruin, you go through these portraits that take you to like different parts of the world. Okay. So you go to like Egypt, you go to like London, and like it allows more than just the castle. Whereas Order of Ecclesia is you're going all through Wallachia to dis to rediscover the castle. Like, the castle's been lost. Yeah. But his inf Dracula's influence is still prominent. But no, they're really cool. And again, you don't have to constantly press the select button to look at the map. I think the map's, like, at the top screen and then the oh, game's okay. at the bottom yeah. screen. So it's just, like, a lot more user-friendly, I like to say. All right, so... For this boss battle coming up, we're a bit over-leveled, but for the final boss, we're at like the proper level. Okay. It's interesting because there's this weird spike between the boss we're about to face and the final boss. <laughs> hmm. Because I think how it's supposed to go is you fight this boss and it's just like, oh, Dracula. And Dracula's like, I have all the power. And it's just like, hmm, I'm a little weak. I need to explore the castle fully to power up. Oh. I think that's how it's designed. Whereas I kind of like did that a little earlier and I'm just like, well, I'm getting my ass kicked in this observation tower. Let's go to the arena. Yeah, I I think I might like linear or semi-linear games a lot more. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't like the whole Metroidvania exploration I, aspect? I don't think I do. Again, okay. I haven't like played them too much. Mm -hmm. Like, they're interesting to watch, but I feel like I would get very frustrated, like, with constantly needing to retrace my steps. I gotcha. Alrighty, then. Uh. I'd, but I don't know, because, again, I haven't really played one. Right. You're still on your yeast kick. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, at the time of this recording, September 28th is the Japanese release for Yeast 10. Mm. So that means probably within, like, six months to yeah. a year after, we'll, we'll get an we'll English release. Yeah. 
So I can't wait for that. I don't know if the West is getting that remake of Oath of Felghana now, because apparently there's some licensing issues. Mm. Yeah. So I'm just like, no, Oath of Felghana, that was one of my favorites. <laughs> Damn it. I played it on the PSP. <laughs> Ouch. Jerk. Oh, stop it. See, even in the 60s, these enemies are still a pain in the butt. In the 60s? Level 60. Oh, I was like... <laughs> even in the 60s, Dracula was a pain in the butt. I know, I'm like, are they like... You haven't done that in a while, buddy. Like, discoing? Or like, not discoing, but like... What did they do in the 60s? Drugs. <laughs> drugs. <laughs> Lots of drugs. I mean, when you see the abominations in this castle, Dracula could have very well been a victim of the 60s. Yeah. The 60s weren't good to you, were they? Yes. Another Hearts Max increase. I want to say I end this playthrough getting the vast majority of those increases. Okay. I think I might have missed like two, three tops. Because, spoiler, I finished just under 100% completion of the map. Okay. Just under. But again, uh, that's around the point where I'm just like, all right, the game's starting to sink in. I've done everything. I just want to beat the game. Yeah. All the little extras. It just takes too much time. I don't have the time. Because I put in like a good like two to three hours of just like grinding. Yeah. And I'm just like, drop some cards, you stingy bitch. <laughs> I was just like, hard no, fam. Okay, so before we face this boss, I'm going to use this combination to regenerate my health. <laughs> If you stand still, don't move, and don't get hit, you slowly regain your health. <laughs> I like that feature in a lot of the RPGs. Yeah, it's a nice tactic to have. There's, um, I don't know if Trials of Mana did it, but Sword of Mana, is a, there's a sit feature, where if you just oh, sit down, you slowly regenerate HP and MP. Mm. <laughs> I know that it didn't, like, reload your MP in these, but just your HP. You oh, get that's healthier. right. That's only on the overworld. Mm -hmm. Or, like, the island. Like, once you enter a dungeon, that feature goes away. Yeah. I did realize that. That's very nice. Okay, I think we have just enough health. So, let's take on this boss. I'm going to go back to the fireballs. Because it's nice, because I have both a shield and an offense. All right, you grumpy bitch. The boss is Hugh. Hugh gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Hugh must be joking. I am superior to you. I will defeat you to prove myself to father. Worst episode ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now he is tainted by Dracula. But yeah, he'll chase you, but if you use your fire shield, he'll just run right into your fireballs. <laughs> there you go. He's blinded by rage. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that one will hit you. So after you do a bit of damage, he'll, like, charge up. Here we go. And we're on to the second phase. So there's actually a little cheat. If you jump up to the balcony, you can sit up there and regenerate your health. Oh. <laughs> I'm not using it because I'm already a little over-leveled. So we're just going to continue this strategy. And eventually we'll knock him out. Ouch. Now that's not to say I don't get hit. But I do win. Stop it. Stop it, I say. Oh, huh. he regened a little bit of health. I don't know how. But there we go. We got him. Take a knee. I used to be a vampire killer like you, and then I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> Do you know what that phrase actually means? An arrow to the knee? Because, like, it's... Okay, to give some context... I always thought that it was, like... That is a line from Skyrim, 
And he's just like, I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow to the knee. And I people thought it think, meant getting married. That's what it means. Yeah. A lot of people thought, that's so odd. It's just like, did you take an arrow to the knee? And it's just like, oh, I can't go adventuring anymore. I'm like, no, it's an expression. It means he got married so he can no longer go on adventures. He went home to be a family man. All right, so. Oh, Hugh. <laughs> Stop. Stop it, Hugh. Stop. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm tired of you, Gus. <laughs> Out of here. Wrong button. All right, so he'll, we'll leave him here to sulk. And this is the last key. Use keys to open doors and chests. So now we can finally enter the ceremonial room. Regen a little bit of health because we're ready to take on Dracula. Dracul. The dragon. The impaler. Oh, he has so many names. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard Dracula called the Impaler. Oh, it was Vlad. Yeah. Vlad the Impaler. I mean... Where so I know, like, Dracula is based off Vladimir. Mm-hmm. But... They kind of interchange depending on the story. After all, if you're familiar with, like, I believe the first episode of the Castlevania series, he's impaling heads on stakes outside his castle. Yeah. That was a historical trait. Ooh, double grips of Vlad the Impaler. Close. No? He would he would <clears throat> pike heads, but his big thing was he would lay bodies across the pikes oh. and then weigh them down so that they wouldn't die immediately. Ooh. Yeah. Fun fun. So basically, he just had like a fence of bodies screaming outside of his castle. <laughs> well, that's a bit more morbid. Yeah. We're gonna dance with the devil tonight. There we go. Oh, and a high potion. Nice. All right, we got double grips, a high potion. We're at the appropriate level. I, you know what time it is? It's killing Dracula time. We're gonna take this warp room and we're gonna circle all the way back to the beginning to where this all began. And we're going to save our master from Dracula. But first, let's uh, head on over to a save room. Yeah. Just in case I get my ass clapped. Uh, yeah, that's not too far. We'll go this way ourselves all prepped up for the finale. Um, I will say, this is one of my favorite um, designs of Dracula. Okay. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Usually when you get to his forms, you got like the big old bat. Yeah. That's very common. And um, I believe Adventure Rebirth had that secret third form where he's like a mask with all those runes. Yeah. Casting spells. That's pretty cool. And uh, they play around with like some of his different forms because he's in a majority of the games. Not all of them, but he's in a majority of them. But this design is really cool. What they do here. <laughs> so, going forward with our Castlevania games, do you want to see more of the linears? Another game kind of like this? One of the 3D ones? Or just kind of like, eh, if it's Castlevania, I'll watch. I mean, I'm I'm very much like, if it's Castlevania, I'll watch. Okay. Because it's like, I'm not the one playing it. <laughs> so, I and that's kind of what I meant, where it's like, I think I would prefer to play. The linear ones. Did you right. play the first one? No. Would you like to? Because, I mean, I have it on my collection. And, like, you have unlimited continues. I mean, eventually. Okay. Eventually. All right, here we are, the ceremonial room. First things first. Nope, a little to the left. There we go. 
I practically raised him. Why, I, a little to the left. I can't believe he'd do this to me. <laughs> All right. Hmm. I was expecting something a little roomier. I don't know why I'm quiet. There's no voice acting. I just remembered. Oh, yeah. I was like, <laughs> I'm reading. Whoopsies. I think we've what been, an emotional display. We've been played by uh, the other games with voice acting. Yeah. Mainly Darksiders because Psychonauts, I love that game, but it doesn't know when to shut up. <laughs> yeah, they did talk a lot. There was a lot of like cut scenes and dialogue while you're playing. I'm indifferent towards that, like dialogue while playing. Like as a positive, it helps flesh out the characters and I can still play. As a negative, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Just shut up. God, it makes me appreciate like Tears of the Kingdom and other Zelda games where like Link's just quiet and Yeah. <laughs> just just be the character. Shut up. Stop talking all the time. All right, so this is the battle with Dracula. He has elemental bats that he likes to shoot at out at you. He has fire bats, ice bats, and electric bats. The only ones that are difficult to dodge are the electric bats because they go in a sporadic uh, pattern. For example, oh. <laughs> oh shit! And there we go. We beat him. Power! I need my full power. Phenomenal cosmic power. in <laughs> space. All right, so. This is usually how the game's rigged. So you beat Dracula and you're like, that's it? And Morris is like, chase him, you fool! So at any time, you go through that portal and you face the true Dracula. Okay. But you have freedom to go back and explore more of the castle and level up because Dracula is a toughie. So Hugh's all like, I'll take it from here. Nathan, banish Dracula and then make sure you get out. I will. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the next episode, we're going to finish this game, take on the true Dracula, and see the ending. And also an added bonus. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, with Castlevania, especially these kind of games, when you beat the game, it's just like, for an extra challenge, try this bonus. <laughs> all <Just> right. Of <laughs> Replay value. All right. We'll see you all in the final episode. Toodles!